Hello and welcome to another update video about Cardano. In this video, as always, we're going to take a look at the Cardano price, but we start with the Bitcoin price, which is doing some exciting moves at the moment. I think another breakout might be imminent for Bitcoin, and that could obviously benefit the Cardano price as well. There's a bit of uncertainty in the Cardano price at the moment, in my opinion. We don't have much time before the 12th of September, so it's very exciting, very interesting and very important week this week, because you know, on the 12th of September, that's when the hard fork is going to take place. And then um, this is what we've all been waiting for. So, you know, is is there more profit taking, to, you know, taking place? Are people just, you know, sort of waiting? What's going to happen? Um, it's really hard to say. It's hard to say. I know a lot of the people and, and me as well, I'm just holding. I'm not going to sell any of my ADA. Um, some people say, you know, there's a bit of buy the rumor, sell the news sort of thing where people I have bought now, obviously before the hard fork and then might take some profits or whatever after the hard fork, which is what happened after the last hard fork. Um, there was a bit of a drop and then sideways movement. But even after that, then we saw a new all time high. So let's see what's going to happen. We, we can only make assumptions here, educated assumptions based on the past and what, um, what we can see in the chart at the moment. Certainly what I can see here is Bitcoin is doing something very exciting. We went through, we broke through the very important 50,500 level yesterday. Um, I did say that it looked likely and it happened because we've been making lower, no, sorry, higher lows. Um, this is only the one hour chart here, but it's really good to see what we're doing at the moment on the one hour chart. So we've been making higher lows. So we were getting very close to that 50,500 range. It was increasingly hard for the sellers to push the price back down. And also um, certainly what we can see here on the hourly chart now, is that the MACD saw a bit of a jump here. We're now moving back into the red zone because we are doing this sort of consolidation at the moment. In my opinion, that's a bit of calmness um, before the storm. And the reason for that is that um, if we take a closer look at that, that is something like a perfect bull flag. Honestly, this is a jump. We haven't seen a decline even. Sometimes you see after such a jump, you see a, a small decline, small retracement and then sideways move. But typically when you don't see that retracement, it could be a really strong bull flag. So we see that channel now. So we've got a flagpole and we see the, um, we have the flagpole and we have the uh, channel now that we are trading in. So just sort of a range market at the moment, but this is the one hour chart. So um, there won't be, you know, this is obviously like the micro level. So you can see that we've got this channel here, which is perfect for a bull flag, uh, a perfect, pretty much perfect bull flag, I, you can call it. And if we take the target, I'm going to zoom out a little bit and we can look at what the target might be. Typically, you take the the beginning sort of of, of that bull flag, maybe, you know, you have that flagpole and just let's let's just take that. That could be a target, a typical target that we could see here. And we would go up to something around, if I see that correctly, something around 40, 43,500. That is a possibility. In my opinion, it is looking very likely with such a bull flag in a trending market, in a, we are in an uptrend and we've recently made a new high, a new local high, not an all time high, but a new local high. So looking really good for me at the moment for Bitcoin. I think we might have now got back to a really more, you know, sort of bullish market where we had a bit of losing momentum. As you know, you know, we made that sort of um, sort of sideways move here a little bit. And I said that if we don't really make it above the 50,500, we might, we might, um, the, the market might roll over, but it doesn't seem likely anymore because now we've made a new high that doesn't happen. You know, if the market is rolling over, then you typically make uh, lower highs and you're struggling to make new highs, but this obviously is doing the opposite. Now we've made a new high, new local high, nearly at 52,000 now, very important level again, but it seems like we're going to break out soon. That's what I can see from this chart. Cardano um, hasn't really reacted to it much yet. Um, there are a lot of other cryptos which are doing really well at the moment. So maybe people invest, show a little bit less interest in Cardano at the moment, but you know, with the background of Bitcoin, I don't think, you know, the risk that the Cardano um, price is going down has significantly reduced. We seem to have built this, um, trend line here, this diagonal trend line, which is going up at the moment. We are sort of moving towards the $3 again slowly. Um, and I think if Bitcoin manages to break out, out above 52,000, we need to, we, we would probably see a breakout here as well to the upside. And I just said, it seems likely for me that the breakout is going to happen with Bitcoin. 
um, it won't take long that's what I believe I'm um, looking at the chart but you know you never really know but that's what I strongly believe um, with Cardano as well we don't have much time I said before we have the um, we see the 12th of September and I, I originally you know I said that I believe it could be realistic that we see the 450 before that now it's getting increasingly less or you know less realistic obviously the closer we get to the 12th of September that we see 450 before that but I think we'll certainly see another jump before that um, I think you know it's looking more bullish now with Bitcoin getting up it was a lot of uncertainty with Bitcoin potentially rolling over and then Cardano also struggling to make new highs but that has changed now in my opinion because Bitcoin is going up Cardano is typically following so I think um, a breakout again here might be imminent now you know things change frequently in these markets so it's always important to stay up to date what we can see here we're obviously getting closer to the three dollar line again we're getting higher and higher we make higher lows as well um, even the highest is getting more difficult but as long as we make new highs that's important and very soon then if we look at these three waves here that we had we are probably imminent for a breakout in my opinion um, and then if that is a new high I think that will determine the next um, the next steps what we can see um, what we can see here is that um, this is the hourly chart just moving into the um, red have just made a bearish crossover no we've actually just made a bullish crossover again there's a lot of uncertainty at the moment on the daily chart so there's not a lot of price moves which typically means that we are sort of yeah coiling up to a move potentially to the upside um, with the background of what Bitcoin was doing I think that could really be a move to the upside what we can see here on the four hour chart as well is that I think we're just about to move it back into the green area on the MACD that would be bullish and could be that signal that we need to move to the upside and so we we climb up that diagonal support line that could help us to get into the green uh, range of the histogram here on the MACD and that could be a buy signal for some people so that could give the give us the boost that we need the daily however is not looking great at the moment um, because we're just you're sort of in the middle of that red zone on the MACD just because of the ongoing consolidation um, you know sort of sideways movement that is happening at the moment but overall you can see that trend it's a bit less steep than we had down here so we are losing a bit of momentum nobody can deny that but it might just be the calmness before the storm I think with what is going on in Cardano there will be more speculation happening in the next few weeks um, you know it's all backed by fundamentals anyway in my opinion um, but you know it's really hard to predict what's going to happen in the next few days I think there will be another breakout to the upside um, that's what I think and uh, I'm not gonna sell anyway and should the price drop for whatever reason I'm just buying more but I think we are about to see another breakout to the upside and what makes me very confident in saying that is that Bitcoin has just done that breakout of course you know should Bitcoin now break down it might be more difficult for Cardano but I don't think with that high here and that bull flag don't think it will break down at the moment doesn't seem likely um, but of course no financial advice but that's what I think at the moment I think we are we are now looking more likely to go to the upside again which would be great and I'm um, just waiting for that breakout I think that breakout will happen as soon as we get closer to the 292 level the 292 is the sort of the entrance uh, into that resistance support zone here so 292 is one level that we need to get through and it seems like we're just trading underneath that level but we're making lower highs sorry we're making higher lows so yeah we're getting closer to it and the price can't really get away from it anymore so if we get above the 292 that'd be really good so you can watch out for that guys and hopefully you appreciated that update if you did please smash the like button and if you want to follow me on this crypto journey please subscribe thanks a lot for watching as always and see you in the next video bye Thank you.